Hi, welcome back to Miss Binger's Studio and Art class. The last time we met, you learned how to build a pinch pot. Today, you're going to learn how to unload the kiln and glaze your bisqueware. Step one, unloading the kiln. When the temperature of the kiln has cooled down to about 200 degrees, you can take the pegs out from the side to help cool that extra 100 to 150 degrees before you unload the kiln. When the temperature has cooled down enough so you can start handling the bisqueware, start removing the items from the top shelf. Then remove the shelf to get to the second layer. Step two, removing stilts. As you uncover each level, you'll have to remove the stilts first before you can remove the bisqueware. Step three, unloading the second shelf. Carefully remove each item. You may notice as you're removing them that there have been some mishaps during the firing process. This might be due to air bubbles or just poor construction. Step four, removing broken pieces. After throwing away large pieces, use a dustpan to remove any of the small pieces and clay dust from the kiln. Step five, unloading the final shelf. Once you finish unloading the final shelf, you can go prepare your pinch pots for glazing. Step six, removing clay dust. Remove clay dust by simply rinsing the pinch pots under some cool water, then set the pinch pots aside so they can dry before glazing. Step seven, selecting a glaze. Display the available glazes along with a sample piece of glazeware so the students can see what the glaze will look like once it's been fired. Step eight, glazing inside, first application. Secure the cap with your two fingers and shake your bottle of glaze before pouring. Pour a small amount of glaze to use to avoid contaminating the entire bottle. For your first application, apply the glaze using horizontal strokes that go from side to side. Continue until you have covered the entire surface one time. Step nine, glazing inside, second application. Once your first application has dried, you can begin applying the second application of glaze using vertical strokes that go up and down. Continue until you have covered the entire surface with a second application of glaze. Step 10, glazing inside, third application. After your second application of glaze has dried, you can begin your third application of glaze once again using horizontal strokes which go from side to side. When your third application is complete, you're ready to move on to glazing the outside of your pot. Step 11, glazing outside. Repeat three-step glazing process. Shake, pour, first use horizontal strokes, Second, use vertical strokes. Third, and finally, finish with horizontal strokes. Clean up by pouring any extra glaze back into the same container that you took the glaze from. Use your paintbrush to scrape out the extra. Rinse both your cup and your paintbrush thoroughly to avoid contaminating any other glazes you'll use in the future. Be sure to keep the bottom of your pinch pot glaze free to avoid sticking to the kiln shelf. Now your pinch pot is ready for its second firing to become glazeware. 